So it's times like this, and I'm glad I live in the United States, where we actually have a First Amendment, and unlike most other countries, we have something that actually says, in concrete law, like, it's not just a bill, it's something that is actually the First Amendment to our Constitution, which says the government cannot interfere with freedom of speech, freedom of the press, or any sort of related thing, freedom of petition, and all that. Uh, but this is a tweet from the South Yorkshire Police. Thank God I don't live in the UK, of all places, because... As they have tweeted out, completely seriously, this is not satire at all. They tweeted out, in addition to reporting hate crime, please report non-crime hate incidents, which can include things like offensive or insulting comments online, in person, or in writing. Hate will not be tolerated in South Yorkshire. Report it and put a stop to it. Now, the thing is, their tax dollars, the people of South Yorkshire, their tax dollars are going to the police to do things that don't involve crimes. Because the thing is, like, that's the job of the police, basically. Like, the, the police exist so you can report a crime. Um, they can stop it from happening if they can. And if it has already happened, their job is to either, um, if they can, like in the cases of theft, to try to fix it and reverse it. Um, or in cases where, like, a murder or something where they can't fix it, try to stop it from happening again by punishing the person that actually did it. Uh, now they're at the moment where... I, I suppose South Yorkshire is such a peaceful place that they have run out of crimes because otherwise, I mean, even then there's still no excuse, but I can't imagine what would make someone think that this is a good thing to post that apparently the police have so much time on their hands that they can now start handling offensive or insulting comments on the internet, which of course is not at all arbitrary. I mean, I get offensive and insulting comments in my comment section um, insulting me every so often. And it's like, do you know what, I, I don't even, like, I have the option to, at the very, because it's, I mean, the comments section are mine in a sense that I control them. I mean, if I want, I can just delete the comments, and there we go, that's it. Like, if, if someone says something I don't like, I can just delete the comment. But I don't, because I actually have a backbone of some kind, I just let the comment exist, be, and then I move on with my life, because that's it. Like, I don't, the only comments I ever delete are the ones in the spam filter that are legitimately spam. Um, otherwise, it's like, I can't imagine spending more than half a second, taking taking more than the time it took to read the comment, to, to focus on it. <laughs> so, and I get like, obviously, bullying is not a good thing. Bullying can have some actual psychological effects. But then you don't report it to the police. You just say, okay, get them out of your life. <laughs> I mean, I've done that in the past. It's like, hey, I don't enjoy spending time with someone. I don't spend time with them. I cut them out of my life. If you need help, go to a friend, go to family. If you don't have anyone, find someone. Like, you you get away from people that make you feel miserable. You don't go to the police. Because, again, they, the, the Yorkshire police, I mean, they even put specifically that this is a non-crime incident. And now, making speech a crime is something that can actually be feasible in the United Kingdom, which is scary that they're actually heading down that path. Uh... But the police are even starting to handle this before it's become a crime. And how long, like, what are they going to do? Because if it's not a crime, they can't do anything, right? Like, are they going to stop by your house? Are they going to, like, report you to a certain service? Are they going to shadow ban? Are they going to report you to, like, the media outlet? Or, um, not the media outlet, like, the like, social media platform, um, who will then take steps to shadow ban you or ban you altogether? Like, what exactly is going on? Because, like, I just, I just put out a video not too long ago arguing that child labor laws are bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually writing an article, a longer article that goes more in depth on other things um, called Misconceptions of Child Labor Laws, saying the same basic thing, that child labor laws do not actually help children. In fact, if anything, if implemented at the wrong time, they hurt children. Again, I'll leave links to the video on that in the description. The article is not going to be out for another week or two. Uh, but yeah, this is something like I post that and I'm making a genuine argument and I welcome all forms of criticism. I mean, I welcome people to like debunk what I'm saying. But you really think me arguing that child like, that child labor laws are bad would not fall under the category of inf offensive or insulting comments? I mean, even SEIU, for example, the union SEIU says if you disagree with them on their policies, you're an anti-worker extremist. That's another video, I, uh, something I did a video on, and I'm forced to be part of SI SEIU. Um, my, my only chance to quit is to quit my job and I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, you don't think like, again, uh, I'm apparently an anti-worker extremist. There are all sorts of labels you can throw at me that like, 
would not uh, are obviously incorrect but could be based on something i've said and of course like now they're saying reported to the police so again thank god that they can't do anything to me <laughs> but um th this is there are so many people that say things way more controversial than i say which need to be said and it's like like how do you figure things out how do you figure things out when we now the police are now encouraging you to report things like offensive or insulting comments and we know, I mean, this wasn't specifically the, shout, the South Yorkshire police, but we know about all the situations in the UK, like the rather like rape gangs that were basically going free. Um, this was back in 2015, I believe, um, throughout the UK, like all kinds of actual crimes that were going on that the police knew about and were taking steps to stop. And it's like, okay, why can't we do this? Like, as long as there is murder and, uh, um, and theft and all kinds of violent crimes in this world, the police should be working on that. Like, why are you working on this? <laughs> this is a total waste of time. But yes, thankfully, if you look down at all the different comments, they're they're basically making fun of the the police. They're saying this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, which is good. I went down pretty far, and I've yet to find a single thing that is like, yeah, this is good. Like, I'm glad to see they've taken a step against hate. It's like, no, this is really dumb. <laughs> um, the best are. They did actually comment to the one crime. He's saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Learned when we were about four years old, which is true. Um, the, the police actually replied to him saying, hi, Neil. While non-crime hate incidents, which is such a long phrase, why would you even call it that, may not be criminal offenses, they can feel that way to those affected and can sometimes escalate to crimes taking place. We work with partners and tr to try and prevent this. More info on our website. So, of course, they're linking to the hate crime site, which, again... They seem to be mixing up non-crime hate incidents with hate crimes. And they're saying they're working with partners to try and prevent this, which means, like, like obviously, the, the South Yorkshire police wouldn't just say, like, oh, send us this stuff that, um, th that you think is upsetting, and then they're just going to throw it in a bin, like a trash bin or something. No, like, obviously, if they're, if they're saying send this to us, it means they're actually going to take some form of action, which, again, like, is it a visit to your house? Like, are they going to put you on a list? <laughs> What exactly is going to happen? Because this is something that's so easy. I mean, am I going to be on this list? Thankfully, I live nowhere near here, but I'm actually curious to see if if um th they would keep foreign people like me on the list. Uh, but no, this is this is incredibly like it. It's hilarious in one way, but also concerning because it's like they're actually doing something rather scary here. Um, but yeah, I I don't know what the appropriate reaction to this is other than to just laugh at it. Um, I've heard people say like, hey. Why don't you just overwhelm them by basically just tweeting like jokes and things that like things that aren't legit insults but could be interpreted that way? Things that make fun of the police or that jokes that are at the expense of the police of the South Yorkshire police. I mean, things online like that um, that that aren't really you being a horrible person to the police. It's just you like making fun of them, stuff like that, where any four year old can get over. Uh, but then I've also heard actually things to the contrary where. When people try to do that and retaliate to the police, like Twitter accounts like that, that people will say, oh, if you do that, they're just going to say, look, look at all this evidence of, of hate incidents. We need more funding. We need more resources. And we're going to, we're, we, we need to actually engage this, this better. So I've heard arguments saying this will actually make it worse. Of course, then if, you, if they also spend time on this, if they also spend time investigating your supposed offensive or insulting tweets, again, like, a joke can be insulting. Like, if I make a joke at your expense, that is insulting to you because it is at your expense, but it's like, friend, like good friends may, like, there are so many jokes that have been made by my friends at my expense and so many jokes I have made to my friends at their expense, and it's like, that all falls under the category of this. So this is so incredibly expansive that it's, it's just not good. Like, there's not much more to say about it. Everything, as again, as seen from the comments, is rather self-evident that this is a horrible thing that the police are spending their time on and a waste of taxpayer money. So to those that live in South Yorkshire, I'm sorry that your money is going to this. Um, I mean, my go money is going to equally horrible things. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you decide what you want to do. There is a hashtag, hashtag HateHurtsSY, which I imagine was started by the police. If you want to fill that up with jokes or humor or something at the expense of the South, South Yorkshire police, I think that would be hilarious. And that would be a decent way to say, like, just, just a decent way to mess things up. Because it's like when it comes to systems like this, you don't want to give them more ammo and more reason to, like, 
get more funding or to take action or to say, hey, look, this is a serious issue. But you don't want to just let it go. Like, this is stuff that you just can't let go. And while it seems so tiny, one police department that's a little out of sorts, it's like we know this is a concerning trend. Uh, but no, let me know what you think in the comments section. There it is. Hashtag hate hurts SY. I, I haven't looked at it, but I'm, I might sense post something out. Um, follow me on Twitter at Liberty Knack. And um, thanks for watching.